It's update day, yay! <laughs> I love update day. It is when the play community gets just jazzed up and hyped as I've already gone through these patch notes and I'm very excited for some of the things that they've implemented. And what, one other thing I'm a little bit confused about, but we'll get into that in a minute. But with this update, they're even adding in Twitch drops and we are currently doing a giveaway. Like I said, we'll talk about that later on in the video. And just looking at this, these patch notes, that dragon, that dragon is just cute. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in. So patch 0.181, Bloomin Bounties. This is the first summer update and at a glance it states, Ahoy Pillions, this patch is blooming with flourishing flowers and new loot to plunder because it, it's a pirate themed update. Summer, water, ocean, got it. Prepare to hoist the sails, swab the decks, and dive into the blue and bounties update. Building blocks can now come in copper, iron, and gold. Play in a party to earn party buffs and rewards including seeds for growable furniture. Spin Zeki's prize wheel in the black market underground to earn prizes. The prize wheel brings new loot including prize decor furniture set. Get inspired with the home tour board to find more ways to decorate your plot. The premium store brings in a new pet, alpha bundles, and introduces landscapes, new ways to customize your home environments, and more. If you guys have seen my channel, if you've watched my videos, you know that I am a huge fan of social features, community features, and everything in that area. We now have a home tour board, which I think is really cool because there is a lot of plot tours. It is a big thing in the Pelia community, so I'm happy to see they've implemented it into the game. So new features and updates. Building blocks can be made with new materials to make your creations even flashier. You can create a variety of structures with the building blocks. There's a huge list. I'm not gonna go down everything, but it's pretty much using copper, iron, and gold to build things that we've seen for the stone and other uh, hoot nanny. So it says head to city hall now to buy the gold building blocks or purchase the recipes for copper and iron building blocks. There is a limit of thousand pieces which fall under the max limit of 3000 total decor. But this is a good note. This is a good thing they're saying here. They are investigating the possibility to increase this limit in future patches, but they don't have any additional details at this time. But hey, they're working on increasing the decor limit, which is, is highly demanded. Here's something that I've been eager to read. Grab your pals and party up. Party buffs are here. Party buffs bring a new way for you to enjoy pale you with pals. Say that five times fast. I, I tried, I can't. When you party up with others and partake in activities with a party member nearby, you and your party member will receive a buff that provides a chance at doubled loot and make progress towards special party-based accomplishments. These new accomplishments will provide brand new rewards. Global furniture, that's sick. Also, if you wanna make a drinking game, out of these patch notes every time they say party rip a shot you'll be hammered by the end of this video party buffs when partied up with friends within 35 meters of a party member you'll be able to enjoy the loot of your party members activities even if you didn't participate this will apply to hunting insect catching foraging and mining so hopefully when we're in a party and everyone's just whacking away at pillium i can get me a Ruby. Haven't gotten one yet. Been trying. When playing near party members, you'll also have a chance at earning double the loot. This will apply to loot-based activities including hunting, insect catching, foraging, mining, and fishing. This will not apply to cooking, gardening, and furniture making skills. You must be within a range of 35 meters of a party member for the buffs to be active. You can check this range by looking out for the party buff icon near your name in the upper left corner. And for you accomplishment and achievement hunters out there, the party people accomplishment has, has some awesome rewards, like we said, the growable furniture. As you play with and near your fellow party members, you'll earn XP towards the party people accomplishment, visible in the accomplishments tab. Completing this accomplishment will provide brand new rewards, seeds for growable furniture. Growable furniture is currently only available as a reward for partying up with friends, so be sure to invite pals on your adventures. There are five levels of party people accomplishments and each level will provide one item for growable furniture. When you receive a growable furniture item seeding, you can plant it on your plot, water it, and watch it grow over time into blooming piece of decor. Once it is fully grown, you can collect a seed from it to grow more decor over time. The following growable furniture items are available as seeds through party people accomplishments. Grow all out stool, grow all out dining chair, grow all out dining table, grow all out couch, and grow all out standing lamp. Not something I was expecting in this update, but it, it does look really cool. It reminds me of that picture that people are putting chairs and like moss and shit around it and it just becomes one with nature, but you can sit on it. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. 
Spin the wheel, Zeki's prize wheel is back and better than ever. Head to the black market underground and take a spin of the prize wheel for new rewards. Play hot pot matches in the black market to obtain prize wheel coins. You'll win one coin every time you finish a game of hot pot. You'll earn a second coin if you win a game. A spin of the prize wheel will cost you two prize wheel coins. Zeki's procured new goodies just for the prize wheel. The loot pool includes old favorites like gold and ingredients, as well as trove of new items including new fireworks, furniture, and plushies. Out of everything that has drastically changed the most, in Pelia is the underground. It has become like literally Killama Vegas. It used to be like a little a little room underneath Zeki's store. Then it turned into a speakeasy. Now there, <laughs> now there's hot pot. I mean, there, there is so much, and there's even more in a second. I'll get to that. It's just it's drastically changed. The following items are available to win as rewards: gold, fireworks, Zeki coins, Jumpa Chopper plushie, Jumpa Maji plushie, Jumpa Ancient Fish plushie, and new pirate decor furniture set. Those giant plushies are really sick. I will, I think the Ancient Fish one looks dope. I, I'm gonna be grinding for that. That is really what I'm gonna be pushing for <laughs> on the prize wheel. And they have a new available pirate decor furniture set. I'm not. It, <sighs> It says R matey. Prepare to bring your new treasures to your home plot. Zeki's prize wheel contains a new set of old pirate decor furniture for all you scallywags looking to bring in a bit of seed to your home plot. They have a bunch of pirate themed furniture there. You'll definitely be able to make a tavern with these pirate furniture. Now, plot tours are an official thing. It says get inspired with the new home tour board. Ready to add a few extra touches to your house. Visit the tour board, a new board on your housing plot close to the gates of the Kilima village. Here you can visit a special dream home designed by Tish to give you ideas and inspiration for how you can use the latest decor from this patch. Show your love by adding a Choppa sticker to let her know what you think. Catch a sneak preview of the home tours, which will be coming soon in a future patch. When this goes live in the future, you'll have a chance to share your plot with others or visit other plots to get inspired. Makes plot tours a whole lot easier. We have done a significant amount of plot tours on this channel and we're gonna continue to do so. This is gonna be kind of cool though. Imagine Imagine doing a just a random tour of someone's plot they have no idea that you're there and you're just touring it i think that's really cool they also have rewards going on right now we have a few events coming up that will yield you some sweet loot keep an eye out on these upcoming login collaboration events there's a login reward going on if you log between june 26th at 10 a.m to july 9th at 9 a.m pacific time by the way that's it's pacific time You'll be able to claim a big Frogbert plush to add your totally awesome froggy collection. And there's Twitch drops. Twitch drops are back at 0.181. And it says check out the Twitch drops blog. So we did. And in that blog, it talks about the Twitch drops going on from June 25th to July 16th. I'm a Twitch streamer. You can come into my stream and catch these little Twitch droppies if you want them. And the rewards are two hours viewed. If you watch for two hours, you get a Pal Cat Party small rug. Four hours viewed, you get two stackable Mujin pillow plushes. And six hours viewed, you get two stackable Pal Cat pillow plushes. Yeah, definitely come into my stream if you would like. Or if you want to go watch another content creator, you definitely can go do that. I'm, I, I just I stream on Twitch the exact same days that I upload, which is Tuesdays and Saturdays. So right when you see this video, I'm live. If if you want the Twitch drops, come get them. Now there's a partner collaboration going on starting on July 11th and no, I'm not a paleo partner. When I started making content on YouTube, I had less than 100 subscribers. I did not stream on Twitch. I was, I, I had no following whatsoever. So when I applied for paleo partner, I definitely did not get it. And they're currently right now not bringing in any more paleo partners. I've grown drastically since then. However, they have not opened the paleo partner program since then. So I, I, I am not a partner, but there is a partner collaboration coming on July 11th and they can't wait to share it with you. So some social improvements with the addition of party buffs and rewards, they want to make it easier for players to party out with each other and figure out where their friends are. So they've picked a few improvements to the social panel. Made it easier to keep track of where your party members are. They have x-ray vision that you can now spot their nameplates through walls and more. They have a looking for party icon. You'll be able to see when other players are looking for party with an icon next to the nameplate when exploring the world. You can now tell which map your friends are on. You no longer have to wait for your friend to invite you to the server and can now make the proactive choice to join the server instead. Love that because I've been trying to server sync everyone for a long time and it, is, it has become difficult. Party UI has a few additions to improve its look. And they said you missed out on Frogbert? Don't worry. With Kaju Frogbert has disappeared from the Kilima Fields, Zeki has captured the littlest Frogbert plush and you can now have the chance to win it from Zeki's machine to pair it with the big Frogbert plush login reward. So get the login reward. 
go play the spinny wheel of Zeki and <laughs> get the frogbird plush. You can now fish in the black market underground. A new fishing spot has been uncovered in the center of the black market. Cast a line in between the hotbox games and here you'll be able to catch some types of fish that you would find in caves. We guess this in the stream. Everyone's like, where do you think we'll be able to fish? I ran directly there and was like, they're gonna open that up and we're gonna be able to fish there. And everyone else like, yeah, probably. And we're gonna get cave fish. Nailed it. Health bars will appear above creatures you're hunting. This has been something I've been wanting for a while. I just like health bars when I'm trying to slaughter something. So the Cernooks and Choppas and Mujin getting health bars, big thumbs up in my opinion. In addition to that, loot bag icons will now appear on your compass. So you won't be losing your loot bags anymore. I have lost plenty because I clear out an entire area and then I collect my loot bag. The brightness setting is now available on the Nintendo Switch and the Water Temple now has a dedicated map. So let's go ahead and get into the premium store updates. One of the things that they're introducing is landscapes, new ways to customize your home plot to make your dream home even better. Landscapes are the newest customization options in the premium store and will visually update the environment surrounding your home plot with a fresh new destination. There are three landscapes, Wooded Grove, Kilima Heights, and Shipwreck Isles. So I don't, I don't know if I like this that much. Um, yes, it's really cool. Your plot's gonna be in a different area. You get to see new things. That wall that I would like to see come crashing down. I really wanna see that wall come crashing. You know, I'm making this video before the update is live. We could probably go and see that that wall is just knocked down and I am just speaking out of my ass right now. But I, I've been waiting for that wall to be knocked down for a minute. It has been a big hype that I have been just, uh, <sighs> just jazzed up to see come down. I hope this doesn't get rid of that. But yeah, you can equip these by opening their plot settings from the housing menu. Each slot in your housing plot can be assigned its own landscape, so be ready to start your second house. And now here is the new Drake pet and it is available for purchase. There are five Drake pets available for purchase. That's Earth Fang Drake, Fire Fang Drake, Star Fang Drake, Sea Fang Drake, and Heart Fang Drake. The Earth Fang, Fire Fang, Star Fang, and Sea Fang go for 1,275 Paleo coins. The Heart Fang goes for 1,700. There are a few extra features with this one, includes fluttery wings, bows, a gem color, and heart scales. It's the bougie dragon. It's... <laughs> We're doing two gift card giveaways for the dragon on my Twitch stream. If you're seeing this and you wanna win a Drake or a gift card, be in the Discord, and be on the Twitch stream. If you're in the Twitch stream and you're following the stream, after you've done all those, do exclamation point ticket, it'll enter you in. After the stream, we'll confirm that you're in the Discord and that you're following the stream. Once we're able to confirm it, we will send you the gift card, whether it's Steam or Nintendo. So yeah, definitely hop on in if you wanna participate in that. I can't wait to do it. I really wanna give back to the Paleo community. And then they have new outfit bundles. There are three outfit bundles that have been added to the premium store. This is the Seafoam Siren, the Buccaneer, the Vintage Beach Water and the Knit Together. The Seafoam Siren includes extra splashy fish and water effects when you run and you're an idol. However, it that, that is a mermaid. A siren is something a little bit different. I, I have done a lot of research on sirens for my podcast and I wanna let you know they are more bird-like. Okay, Singularity 6. And there'll also be three other alpha bundles that'll be added to the premium store July 9th. Here's something for you witchy folk out there. The Stellar Sorcery outfit comes with its own flying effects. Equip the Stellar Sorcery torso and a magical broomstick will take the place of your glider so you can soar across the pillion sky. And then there's the top bug fixes and top known issues. We don't get into that, but you guys can read it for yourself in the description down below. I'm gonna be placing the notes and the Twitch drop information where you guys go and take a gander. What do you guys feel about this update? Let me know in the comments down below but while you're down there commenting be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when to upload a video but if you know the exact moment i upload a video because i will annoy the <laughs> with pinks be sure to join the discord the discord is a super happy and fun place where everyone is welcome and if you're watching this right now this very moment i am most likely streaming on twitch that's twitch.tv slash perzival p-e-r-z-i-b-a-l i'm pretty sure that's how you spell my name i stream tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 12 p.m eastern standard time which are the exact same times that upload videos which is on tuesdays and Saturdays. Yeah, hop on in chat, say how do you do? Everyone is friendly, just like the Discord. Come in and discuss this video if you'd like, or if you wanna come in and tell me you hate my face, you can definitely do so, because I agree, it is busted. And last but not least, be sure to follow me on all my socials, that is Twitter, or X, whatever tickles your pickle, Instagram, threads, all that is gonna be down below as well. But yeah, that's the video, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.